We are more accustomed to receiving information about new weapons from countries that are now trying to redivide the spheres of influence in the world. Due to the arms race and the technology championship between political opponents, sometimes completely outstanding and breakthrough technical solutions remain in the shadows. Now we will focus on the fifth generation NMS anti-ship missile, Naval Strike Missile. This is the development of Norwegian engineers. However, in addition to the Royal Norwegian Armed Forces, the following armies wanted to have such a missile in service, Poland, Japan, Malaysia, Germany, and the USA. In 2018, the U.S. Navy selected the Norwegian missile as a promising weapon for new ships, and in 2019, NSM was ordered by the U.S. Marine Corps. Norwegian developers managed to marry the naval strike missile even with the fifth-generation Lockheed F-35 fighter. The aviation version of the NSM missile is called the Joint Strike Missile, JSM. Engineers from Lockheed Martin participated in its adaptation for aircraft. The rocket is placed on an external or internal sling. The anti-ship missile can also be carried by the 4-plus generation EF-2000 Typhoon multi-role fighters. The F-35 and Typhoon are aircraft with advanced avionics and high radar stealth performance. Therefore, the Naval Strike Missile, combined with the high combat capabilities of the EF-2000 Typhoon and the F-35, pose a serious threat to any enemy. We will come back to the aviation version of the anti-ship missile, but first, let's talk about the features and abilities of NSM, which are recognized by experts as outstanding. So, NSM is a two-stage rocket with a normal aerodynamic design. Flight stability is achieved by an airplane wing and X-shaped stabilizers. The NSM missiles were created as a promising replacement for the Penguin anti-ship missiles. In the U.S. specification, NSM is referred to as AGM-119. Note that Penguin missiles have been in service with a dozen countries since 1972. They have been in the States since 1994. The developer is the same as that of the new NSM. The Norwegian company Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace. The Penguin missile was created for use in coastal areas, therefore it has an infrared homing head. The fact is that in the Norwegian fjords, the use of a radar head is difficult due to the interference created by the difficult terrain. When several Penguin missiles are launched at the same target, they can move along different trajectories and attack at the same time. Phenomenal! The quality of Penguin greatly reduces the enemy's chances of surviving a massive attack. However, the Penguin has disadvantages related to the development of technology. First, Penguin is a short-range missile. Second, the rocket speed is Mach 0.7. Today, this is a very modest figure. Finally, Penguin does not meet modern stealth requirements. With the development of the new NSM anti-ship missile, all these shortcomings have been eliminated. The maximum speed of the naval strike missile reaches Mach 0.95. The developers deliberately kept the subsonic speed. The fact is that a subsonic missile always has the best range and warhead weight. With comparable characteristics of the range and weight of the warhead, the supersonic apparatus turns out to be more massive. That is, a subsonic missile is capable of flying further and carrying a more lethal charge than its supersonic counterpart, all other things being equal. It's all about the so-called aerodynamic quality. This is one of the characteristics for flying objects. The aerodynamic quality is the ratio of the lift coefficient to the drag coefficient. 
According to the Kuchemann hyperbole, after overcoming the one Mach speed threshold, the aerodynamic quality of the object rapidly decreases and stabilizes only in the Mach 2 to 3 region. This is explained by the fact that during supersonic flight there is a significant dissipation of energy due to heating. Therefore, further acceleration requires more effort. You need a more powerful engine and more fuel. A little background. Dietrich Kuckemann is a famous German aerodynamicist, a specialist in high-speed flight, best known for his work on the Concorde. In addition, a supersonic rocket heats up more, so there is more noise. The higher the noise, the more chances the enemy's air defense systems have. Finally, a supersonic missile is less capable of maneuvering. At supersonic maneuvering, radii grow several times. In difficult terrain conditions, this becomes a serious disadvantage because the rocket has to fly higher over the terrain. That is why the developers of Naval Strike Missiles settled on Mach 0.95. Truly, this is the filigree work of the designers. Together with the increase in speed, the Norwegian engineers managed to significantly increase the flight range. This figure for NSM is 100 to 115 miles, depending on the complexity of the terrain. This is three times higher than that of the Penguin. Aviation version of the NSM, JSM rocket flies even further, 300 to 345 miles. Thus, the NSM became a fifth generation medium range missile. As a starting booster on NSM missiles, a solid propellant rocket is used, which is discharged during combustion. Further flight is provided by a cruise turbojet engine with a four-stage Tri-40 compressor from Microturbo. A feature of this unit is that the system is lubricated with fuel. That is, the Tri-40 engine does not have an oil lubrication system. This makes it compact. The injection on the Tri-40 is controlled by an electronic control unit, so fuel delivery is more accurate here. Dosing accuracy is not only about fuel savings, but also about agility. The NSM hull design allows the missile to maneuver in three planes, like an airplane. Note that the Penguin could only maneuver straight ahead. Now do you understand why the Naval Strike Missile is an outstanding missile? But the list of NSM advantages does not end there. The new rocket is 13 feet long, 2.2 feet longer than the Penguin. But at the same time, the weight of the NSM as well as the mass of the warhead remained the same. The warhead uses titanium alloy striking elements. They are lighter and harder. Naval Strike Missile is not a simple Penguin optimization. The body of the new rocket is made of composite materials, which are referred to as stealth technologies. Thus, the engineers solved two problems at once. They stayed in the weight category up to 880 pounds and increased the stealth indicator. The mass of the rocket is extremely important because it is directly related to the stock of weapons of a particular carrier, a frigate, boat, car, and also fighters. In addition, the mass of the ammunition affects the logistics. As for stealth, there is no need to explain much here. Stealth for fifth generation anti-ship missiles is one of the most important indicators. Having received new outstanding qualities and characteristics, the Naval Strike Missile and its aircraft version also inherited all the advantages of their predecessor, the Penguin. NSM also has an infrared homing warhead, but here this system was strengthened by TURCOM technology, terrain contour matching. This is a missile trajectory correction system based on data from all types of reconnaissance, Along the way, TURCOM is responsible for target selection. TURCOM is a database of specific terrain and targets. That is, the NSM is sent to the target with a baggage of knowledge so the rocket can fly at an ultra-low altitude in the conditions of a rugged coastline. 
avoiding obstacles in the fjords. At the same time, NSM can forego the use of a GPS, although it can use a GPS as well, but rely on the data of its sensors and TURCOM. Such an autonomous flight is very difficult to detect and track for all defense systems. Kritjof Nainsen class fighters are armed with naval strike missile missiles. Each frigate is armed with eight naval strike missiles. These are the latest stealth frigates designed for a wide range of tasks. In the period from 2006 to 2011, five such ships were built. One sank in a collision with a tanker. Norway is armed with four frigates. The project was developed by Norwegian and Spanish specialists. The Fritjof Nansen is based on the Spanish Alvaro de Bazin class frigates. The main task of frigates of this type is anti-submarine defense, as well as the fight against surface ships. The Norwegian Navy also has Skold class missile boats, which are also armed with eight NSM missiles. The boats are capable of speeds up to 60 knots, which allows them to quickly evade return fire after launching missiles. After all, NSMs are fire and forget missiles and do not require flight control from the command post. Also, Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace conducted a study to determine the possibility of adapting the NSM to the standard 533mm torpedo launcher used on submarines. Research results have shown that this is possible. However, military submariners do not share the optimism of the developers. Every launch from a submarine is a risk of being detected. The Norwegian Navy sees the mission of the submarine fleet in collecting intelligence and observing enemy maneuvers. Despite the objections of the submariners, Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace is going to test this system in the coming years. This version of the rocket was named NSM-SL, but the fate of the aircraft version of the NSM has already been decided. The JSM was successfully tested this spring in the United States at Edwards Air Force Base, California. F-35 aircraft took off with missiles on board and fired back at ground targets. Each F-35 was able to take two missiles into the inner compartment and also two missiles were attached under the wing of the aircraft. Also in the spring, in April 2021, the United States Marine Corps successfully tested the Navy Marine Expeditionary Ship Interdiction System in Mises, coastal complex equipped with an NSM missile. If the NSM is adopted by the Marines, this will mean not only the expansion of the combat potential of the units, but also the emergence of new tactics of warfare. Battle groups will be able to capture and hold not only individual important objects, but also large areas of the coast, preventing the enemy from landing on their own coast. The emergence of multifunctional weapons is the main sign of our time. We will be closely monitoring this trend. Stay tuned in order not to miss anything.